time in YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Theme Deck Corners. Today we are going to be looking over the Voltage Vortex Theme Deck featuring Zekrom. Now, as you guys saw in the previous episode, we looked over the next Destiny's deck, um, Explosive Edge, and today we are going to be looking over the partner to that, which obviously is featuring Zekrom. Um, now, personally, I think this deck is going to have the exact same problems as the Reshram deck. Again, not game-wise, because that's always my fault. But uh, in terms of clustering of Pokemon and all that kind of stuff, as you can see, we probably are going to have roughly the same amount of problems. But let's take a look and see what kind of little treasures we have as we play through this next Destiny's deck. And again, guys, for those of you who are just checking out this particular one, uh, these decks are currently available on the TCG shop. Uh, so if you guys want them, make sure to grab them while they're hot. Um, otherwise they might be gone for who knows how long. Um, but anyway, Zekrom here is the 130 HP lightning type Pokemon with Outrage, 2 colorless energy, 20 damage, and it'll do 10 more damage for each damage counter on it. So that means we have a potential output of doing 140 damage for just 2 energy if he's got all those damage counters on him, leaving him with just 10. Um, he has Bolt Strike, 2 lightning, 1 colorless 120 damage but what i like better about zekrom's is it does 40 damage to itself now that seems really awkward that it's doing damage to itself and i like that better but not only am i not losing the energy so i can use this attack immediately on the follow-up turn but it's actually powering up our outrage so if we actually manage to get ahead we can then start going for the outrage doing 60 naturally and not having to lose our Zekrom to just damage because of ourselves, or losing it because we don't have the energy. So in that regard, I personally prefer Zekrom a little bit more. Um, but let's see what the rest of the deck has to offer. Now, to start us off, we have Scrafty 90 HP Dark type Pokemon. Excuse me. Has the Rock Head attack, one Dark Energy, 20 damage during your opponent's next turn. Any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is just reduced by 20. So we have that little bit of reduction, which is nice. It's that sturdy power. Uh, then he's got the Hammer Kick, one Dark Energy, two Colorless. It's going to do 50. If this Pokemon has fewer remaining HP than the defending Pokemon, this attack will do 30 more damage. So we've got output to do 80 damage with Scrafty, which isn't really too bad for a Stage 1 Pokemon. Um, Next up is a useless line being the Nuzleaf. It's got 80 HP. It has Surprise Punch. You get to move energy around. It's not a big deal. Really. It's not really that great of a card. Um, next up is Weavile. Uh, 90 HP Dark type Pokemon. Stage 1, of course. Has the Dark Penalty uh, for 1 Psychic. 90 damage if the defending Pokemon has no Pokemon cool card. Blah, 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 blah. If they have not got a tool card attached to them, this attack does nothing. So they need to have tool cards attached to them in order for this to be worthwhile. And then it also has Fury Swipes for three colorless. Um, you get to flip three coins in any combination, and as long as you land tad, tail or sorry heads, you'll get damage. Beauty. Uh, you have a random Blitzel, doesn't do much. Uh, you have a random Emulga, which technically it's a fully evolved Pokemon, so we have to go over. 70 HP Lightning type has Bounce, one Lightning, one colorless, 30 damage. You get to switch this Pokemon with one of your bench. Cool. Uh, we have Raichu, 90 HP, Lightning Pokemon, Thundershock, 1 Lightning, 20 damage, you get to flip a coin, and if you get land heads, you get to paralyze them. Cool. You also have Slam, 1 Lightning, 2 colors, 80 times. This means you can do a maximum of 160 damage with this thing. Raichu can do some damage. And then our stage 2 of today's deck is Luxray, 140 HP, Lightning Pokemon with Flash Impact, 1 Lightning, 60 damage. However, it does 20 damage to one of your own Pokemon. But again, you can kind of com combine this with your Zekrom, get that additional little bit of 20 damage off early, you're having a hard time setting up energy, hey look, now I've got 40 damage, uh, or now I can do 40 damage with my Zekrom uh, while I'm having an energy rut. So it's a good way of doing things. Um, you also have Crunch, 2 Lightning Energy, 1 Colorless, 80 damage, flip a coin if heads, discard an energy attached to your opponent's defending Pokemon. Uh, we saw that on Arcanine in the previous episode, but now it does a little bit more damage uh, uh, for the additional cost of one more energy. So, not bad. Um, personally, I preferred uh, Chandelure in the previous one, but I think Luxray is still pretty good. Starting off our trainer line, unfortunately we have no energy retrieval, so we do have to be a little bit more cautious of our energy in this deck. Uh, we do have the energy search, though. We can search our deck for basic energies, reveal and put it into our hand, which is great. 
Uh, we have the level ball, search your deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less. Reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. And that's a common thing I saw in both decks. You got Heavy Ball in the one deck, cannot pull Reshiram. You got the level ball in this deck, can't pull Zekrom. What is that? Now, I do say I like the level ball more because there's so many more Pokemon I can grab. If I want to go for an evolution on something I already have, that's great. Uh, and a lot of things are 90 HP. Luxio, I can get both both beginning and middle stages of my Luxray. Uh, I can get pretty much everything in the deck except for Zekrom. So with that, that's fine. Um, I have the Pokemon Communications. This, I put up a reveal Pokemon, put it on top of the deck, Grab Zekrom, go for it. Or whatever Pokemon I actually want to use. Uh, I like this card a lot. I do, I do, I do. Uh, we have a few potions, so we can actually heal off some of that over overdosing damage that we might be taking. Uh, we've got the Pokemon Center. Once during each player's turn, that player may heal 20 damage from one of his or her benched Pokemon. We've got Zillin. Search your deck for three basic energy cards. Reveal them, put them into your hand. And what I really like about this deck is we actually have Juniper. We can get you rid of all those useless cards. Instead of just drawing three, we could draw seven. So much stronger than Charon. And lastly, we've got the same energy count as the previous deck. You got six dark and 12 lightning energy. That is going to be the deck. Um, personally, I think Reshram is going to be a little bit better in today's meta. Especially if you go against like Solgaleo decks or Decidueye. Because you have weakness. But other than that, I think I might enjoy this one just as much. They're both very interesting decks. Both are fun theme decks. Um, so I highly recommend trying out both of them. Uh, but let's give this one a shot on the TCGO ladder to see just how well we do. Because we can't do it any worse than we did last time. Alright guys, match number one is against Dissembler. The Dissembler. Uh, playing Sylveon, which is... I, I do like that deck a lot. Uh, so I know... I know it's got some pretty good power behind it, so I'm hoping to kind of get the opportunity here to go first. I don't know what to lead. I can lead with the Sneasel. I might be losing the middle stage of my Luxio though, because unfortunately, like this card is pretty good. Okay, we got Zekrom. Everything's fine. Kind of just want to. Kind of just want to set up Zekrom. But I'm gonna put an energy down over here, just so that my opponent can't do certain things. I'm not gonna use this the Juniper this turn. I will wait till the next turn to use it. Uh, this gives me the opportunity to retreat when I want to, though. I can get uh, Lightning Energy down, kind of hold off, maybe see if I can get a Shinx, uh, and then I can evolve into the Lexi the following turn. There's a few things we can still do. Uh, my opponent can go for the Energy Evolution, which is an amazing thing to have in a theme deck, because uh, it does mean he can go for Sylveon or Leafeon. This time, Sylveon. And Sylveon's actually a very good non-GX attacker. Because it does have the ability to move your energies around. Um, but what it is nice is we'll be able to just one-shot it once we're set up and ready to go. Uh, so I do not want to get... Do I want to get rid of this energy? No, I want to keep it just in case. I can corner. I'm not in a rush. The rest of my field isn't really going to be doing too much. Um, which is fine by me as well. And I'm weak to fighting. I'm not weak to fairy. Uh, they can kind of set that thing up. I will be setting up my Zekrom in the back. It does set up another energy down onto it. Uh, and once it comes in, it's not the end of the world. Um, and we do get the Shinx. So I do kind of want to hold out another turn here. I know. I keep holding out turns. It's not my fault. Um, we're going to go for another corner. Uh, and I got another three turns. And Bellsprout will go down. And then the Sylveon can kind of come in. Take me out. And I'll just gladly take it out. Because right now, without it's only got 90 HP. I'm not too threatened. You can't switch. Now you can switch, but you need another energy drop. Why you wouldn't put that other energy on your... Sylveon, though, is beyond me. Um, 
Ah, it does an energy switch and goes for 20. Very nice play. Okay, so we can just drop this right here. And this is where we're all right, because I can just go for the energy. I can go for whichever one I want, which is going to be the lightning. Going to drop it down onto Zekrom. And now I can retreat out, not lose out my opponent. Or, sorry, not lose out on a prize. Um, I did get an electric energy, which is awesome. And I can... I can Pokemon Communicate and start getting this Luxray going as well. Which is, again, here's the great thing about Pokemon Communications in these decks, is I can go for whatever Pokemon I want by getting... Excuse me! Getting rid of a Pokemon that I don't need. Um, I do want to go for the Energy Switch here. We're going to go into our Zekrom, and I'm just going to Bolt Strike. I want to get this thing out of here. I want to take this thing out as soon as possible, and taking 40 damage now when my opponent does not have the Energy is awesome. Because now he's going to come in, the only thing he can do is Curly Ribbon, move an energy attached to your opponent's active to one of your bench, which is great! Because uh, I have another energy in the back, and it does not matter which he does, because I have the right energy that I need. Uh, so he's going to go for a Levion uh, evolution here. And again, same kind of problem. He can only go for the one attack here. I will go for Bolt Strike, which will take... Hmm... You take me out. I can just go for an Outrage. I don't need to go for Bolt Strike. Um, I'm going to save that. Let's go for the Pokemon Communicate, and let's, let's figure out what we need. So I don't need this right now. Let's put that back. And let's get... Oh, Luxray's not here! Why is every good plan foiled? Why? Okay, let's get the Zekrom. Because this way we at least have another one on the field ready to go. Um, and now I do 90. I can actually just attach this to my other Zekrom and get it set up ready to go. Uh, Outrage is going to do 90 damage. Which is enough to knock out Sylveon without needing the energy. Which is beautiful. Can we get that Luxray? We got the Luxray! Uh, which is absolutely beautiful. I can fully set up that stage two. He gets some energy. But if he doesn't take me out here, which I don't think he can, he can put me to sleep, which is a possibility. And that could be a problem. So I just naturally go to sleep and I do not wake up. But we are going to heal. Just a little bit. Uh, we are going to drop this down here. And I don't need any of these baby Pokemon. Do not need any of them. I'm going to drop my Dark Energy over there. Uh, make it the same so that I have a Zekrom to go right back into. I have a Zekrom that I can just follow up with. I got another potion. Uh, you do what? 50? I don't think you can knock me out now. Which is great. So I will... I'll gladly take the hit. We stay asleep. Um, I'd love to wake up on the following turn. Because then either Zekrom, whether he takes me out or not, either Zekrom will be able to take him out. He's got Magical Leaf, uh, and he does not get the additional damage, so I will take 50. And I wake up! It's gonna be game! It's gonna be game! Look at that! Zekrom! There he goes! Zekrom! Doing all the work! But we got our Stage 2 down, putting on more pressure in the background. Uh, we had a second Zekrom set up and ready to go. And, yes! Just look at that! Without having to worry about losing those two energies, I don't mind using Zekrom. Zekrom's actually pretty good. And again... Putting little damage on Zekrom just is powering them up, so I think it's a great little deck. Um, obviously, we got a little bit luckier on this one because as long as it's not a Sun and Moon era deck, we compete. And we have some really strong Pokemon in this deck, including in Reshiram. So if you're playing a non-Sun e non and Moon era deck, you're pretty much even ground, if not stronger, just because this deck has some pretty strong legends. Uh, but before I go way too... You know, way too arrogant and say, hey, look, this is the best deck ever. Let's get into game number two and see just how badly we do against the Sun Moon Era deck. If we if we manage to find one. Alright, guys, match number two is against L4L Lamb. Oh, I, I don't know what it stands for. L for L like it's it's Lamb. I don't know. We're playing against the Ninetales deck from Burning Shadows, which is also a very strong deck. Um now, what is nice is we're not weak to it. 
Um, and for those of you, well, obviously you won't know, but we just played against the Lycanroc deck, and my entire deck is weak to fighting, which makes it very difficult to play against. I'm going to play the C dot lead. C dot lead. No, that's Shinx. I got Potion, so I can at least survive another turn. I'm going first, so if I can pull an Evolution, that would be cool. Um, but I've got options. I'm not, I'm not fully out of this game in terms of play. It's just a matter of I don't have much going for me. Now, if I could get, you know, Luxio and then Luxray right out, uh, like back to back, that would be perfect. Now I get an energy. Okay. Drop that down. I'm going to drop for some electric energy. And this gives me the opportunity to kind of look and see is this worthwhile? No. Luxio is, or Luxray is again prized. Uh, which makes this very unnecessary. Um, this is going to be a long game if I can't pull some prizes. But now we've got lightning energy in hand for anybody who wants to come in after. And that's just going to be our turn. I don't draw those cards anymore, which is good as well. means I have a more open mind to get something different. Uh, where we're going to be taking 10 from this pamp uh, 30 from this Pampor. Uh, which is terrible, because now I have to use a potion right away. Right away, I have to use this potion to keep this this Shinx alive. So damage increased to 30. Uh, I get a level ball, which actually is pretty good, because I can go straight into my Luxio and start doing some bigger damage. All right. Uh, yeah. I can go for Bites, which are 30. Uh, I could go for a little luckier on the quick turn, but I think I just want to go with the safe the safe play of just going for Bite. Um, it's, it's guaranteed damage. It's it's able to do it. I, I can Now, I'm two turns away, so I can quick turn on the following turn if I land both heads, and that's fine. Because either way, quick turn will put me in range of... Like, both attacks will put me in range of knocking this thing out. So I can go for a quick turn and have that possibility to knock out this Pampor next turn. That is my only saving grace here. Uh, it does go for a Water Gun. Hits me for 10. Um, we get a Zekrom, which is absolutely wonderful. I can start setting this thing up. And I'm going to go for a quick turn, like I said. I got one. I did not get the second. So, regardless of the situation, I am now in range of knocking out this Pampor this turn. Um, the actual bad side of that is I could have landed two tails and I would have actually been down a turn. But Pampor is currently looking like it wants to go down, uh, which is absolutely wonderful for me. Timer Ball is going to hit twice. Oh, that's not good. I don't like it when my opponent gets two, because now he gets to have that safeguard Alola Nine Tails, which does nothing in this format. It's just a good attacker. And then he has the ability to go for... He can go for the Pan Seer and evolve this thing to actually get it to stay around a little longer. I really would do well with a Juniper right now, though. And if I could get a prize, that would be awesome as well, because maybe I can pull that Luxray. Ah, there's a lot of what-ifs right now. A lot of what-ifs. If he doesn't pull the Simi Seer, or the Pan Seer, I'm in luck, because he, he could retreat. He could retreat. No, he goes for it. But it's got... I should have gone for the other hit last turn. I took a risk. Uh, it, it's up. It does 30 damage now to me instead of... That's not good. And he does have the Alolan Ninetales now in the back. I should have just gone for the bite, guaranteed, and I would have been in range of knocking this thing out. Uh, move a water... Oh, this is not good. Uh, but he has to move a water energy, so... We'll see how it goes. I can retreat it. I get a Pikachu. And I'm in the same kind of boat I was in the last time. I might just set up Zekrom. I can Outrage and take this thing out on the following turn as well. So I'm going to Quick Turn. 
I don't land it. Oh, I land both tails! No! That's not good. Don't ever go to coin toss! I was taking risks I don't really need to take. I knew I could have taken him out the following turn, but instead now my opponent is set up and ready to go with both the Alolan Ninetales who can pretty much do a number on Tazakaram, and I don't have much to go for here, because I can't take it out. Now you are weak to grass? I gotta go into the C dot because this dark energy doesn't do anything on Zekrom. That was such a lame turn. Alright, I got the lightning energy. That's fine. I'm still in here. I still have to attach an energy drop. He can one shot me. Uh, just just saying. But not now! This thing is going down! All right, CDOT, you're in your little bit of respect. Oh, now I get the Luxray. All right, Salt, you're all over the place. This is bad. Now I can at least, what's nice about this though is he has to take out my CDOT first. And I can kind of come in and just knock this thing out, which is wonderful. And it'll be in Bolt Strike range. It's in Bolt Strike range. Um, I don't think this deck has Guzma. No Rescue Stretcher. I'm okay. He'll put the semi. Uh, he'll put the semi poor back into his hand because he's got the Pam poor now. Um, but he'll be losing a lot of water ground. Um, really, we're we're not in a bad spot. He actually just puts him back into the deck, which is. A, it, I don't know if that was better or worse. Um, he has heat more. He's gotta make a decision here, because you are not weak to you're not weak to me. Just just goes for the Aurora Beam, picks up his prize and walks. Uh, I'm actually resistant to that. That's different. You don't see a water resist very often. Uh, Zekrom is gonna come in here though. I have the lightning energy in hand. We are just gonna drop it. We'll play the Blitzel as a as a safeguard sort of thing. And I don't mind going for Bolt Strike right now, uh, because it's gonna put damage on me, it means I can go for my outrage a little bit more safe, and we're okay. I got Pokemon communication now. Not that I want to... I could have started setting up another Luxio if I kept the Blitzel in my hand. But I didn't know I was going to pick that up. I did not know I was going to pick that up. He is trying to set up the good old Searing Flames in the back. Energy Retrieval. Kind of wish I had that right now. But what is great is I should be able to knock... No, I can't knock this thing out. I cannot knock this thing out. I got Shinx. I just need another Pokemon and I can get this line back up and running. I cannot go for Bolt Strike here. Um, as much as I want to, I can't. Uh, because Heat More can do a natural 60, which puts me at 100 plus the burn. So I'm going to go for the Outrage. I don't think a combination of the two is going to take me out, but it could. Plays a Horsey. He's getting some bench mons. Drops another energy down. So he just passes. So I will be taking at least advantage here. I think I want to set up this guy again. I have the opportunity here. I just, I have the Lexio in the deck. It's just a matter of getting another Pokemon. I'm just going to go for Outrage. Again, I don't want to get in damage range. I know I'm there. We get a Raichu, which is great. I can set that thing up too. I, I, in comes Heatmore. I don't think this thing is going to be able to knock me out. Hits me for 60, and I'm burned. I take 20. Come on, flip that heads. I will get rid of his heat more. 100%. There is not another Luxio in here! <sighs> I 
Was it going off of the previous game? Ah. Uh, uh. Okay, we got it. I was getting a little pretty salt. Like, I'm getting salty here. So down goes my Zekrom, unfortunately. You have no free retreat. You don't have free retreat. You don't have it. This thing's a sniper anyway, so I can just bring up Shinx. I need some energy now. Else I'm just gonna have jump on. Oh, I can quick turn. Quick turn has not been doing me very well today. I'm gonna say that right now, but it's something. Why would you attach more energy to Cedra? <sighs> Hits my base, which I don't like, but I got no choice. I get a dark energy, which is guaranteed damage. <sighs> it's another 30 guaranteed damage. I'm out of knockout range, which is great. And I have flash impact, um, which I get to snipe, which is great. And to be honest with you, I'm going to have so much more HP once I evolve. It'll, it'll be so much better here. It, it's so much better right now. Okay. Flash impact. Gonna take this thing out. Oh, it does 20 damage to one of my own Pokemon. Uh, I can put it to Blitzel, because really, I, I, it does not bother me. Alright, yes! As far as I'm concerned, it looks like we've got this game. He's bringing in a Panseer, which I'm 100% A-OK -okay with. Maybe not now. Can I knock this thing out? No. But he should not be able to knock me out. And I can just go for crunch. Hold on. Okay, yeah, just go for crunch. I, I misread Flash Impact. That's okay. Uh, and I did not get the fire entry, which would have been kind of crucial. Because now he can't. He's gonna knock me out! It's okay. I just need an energy. I just need an energy. Se send in this for now, because he needs a turn. I can't believe how many times that Lex Lexio line failed me. <sighs> I'm one prize away, guy. I'm 10 HP away from this game. The Luxray failed to get rid of that energy, which would have saved his life. Okay. I need a lightning energy to pop up this turn or next. Come on. That's a lightning Pokemon. It comes down to my draw. It comes down to my draw. Raichu's my only Pokemon that can win this game. Yes! Oh. oh man. I don't care. Heart of the cards just came through for me on that match. And there's that crumb. <laughs> we struggled there, unable to get coin flips when we needed them, unable to do certain things when we needed them, but 
I don't know if I made some... Like, I made some bad plays. We got unlucky with the burn. I don't know what to tell you, but we, we've... We've had some bad, bad, bad luck in these last two episodes. But needless to say, both decks are really fun. If you guys are brand new to these things and you haven't tried any of these decks out yet, please try them. They're a lot of fun. Zekrom and Reshram both showcase they're powerful. Um, both stage twos are actually really strong. Luxray has its power to uh, remove energy, hit really strong for really low, da or low energy costs, of course. We were unable to showcase their true power, considering I couldn't get the right cards when I needed them! And cards being priced just is not great. Um, but needless to say, definitely check out both decks. Uh, they're both a ton of fun. And that's going to be it for today. If you guys are brand new here, please hit the subscribe button, because it means the world to me you guys come out and watch the videos on the regular. But that is going to be it for today, like I've said about three times now. Um, so please, I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, time out.